Hold on, I'm told to pause. Hey guys, it's Becca. <laughs> and Mike. And this is the books. And looks. And today we are going to be doing the social media book tag. So the original tag comes from Faulty Devices. And we were tagged by Miracle Millie Reese. She's so awesome, guys. If you haven't checked her out, we're going to go ahead and link her down below along with the original tag. Please give her a look if you haven't already. Let's Stop get this it. thing going. All right. So first category is Twitter. A book you want to share with the rest of the world. Hmm. That is going to be the Two Princesses of Bamar. I don't have the dust jacket anymore because this is really old and it's super beloved. I love anything Neil Garson, Levine, that's who wrote those series. She also wrote Ella and Enchanted. I just love all of her children's books or I don't know, middle school, I guess you would call them. Mm -hmm. They're so wonderful. If you like retellings or fairy tales, this is the story for you. Perfect. And my book is this one, Red Rising. He's like obsessed with it. Okay. You're going to hear this a lot. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> to my defense, I just finished this book. And prior videos, I had claimed that Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit was my favorite. But no. Scrap that. This is my favorite now. <laughs> Everybody needs to read Pierce Brown's Red Rising. Don't question it. Don't think about it. Just do it. All right. The next question is... Facebook, a book you really enjoyed that was recommended by somebody else. I'm gonna really change it up here. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. This was actually recommended by this uh, short stack over here. And thankfully I listened to her, which if I was a husband not much. listening to his wife, it would not be very smart on my part. And my recommendation was The Night Circus. Someone found out I was interested in reading Caraval and recommended me Night Circus and it's I'm, I don't know why I didn't read this book earlier. It's absolutely wonderful and I will recommend it till the end of days yep. as well. The next category is going to be Tumblr. A book that you read before BookTube that you have not really talked about that much on BookTube. That would be Fahrenheit 451. I have read this a million times. Yep. I think if you're a book lover, you will love this book. It's about, you know, it's about burning books and one of those books it's really it was and are really capturing for me and I absolutely adore this book. All the feels. <laughs> you and feel he's he's a feely kind of guy. I am. I, I'm emotional. My book is actually going to be a book I read in seventh grade that's going to be called Hatchet. Hatchet to me for a guy was a great book. Um, I recommend it to anybody who wants kind of a simple read but it's just about basic survival is what it is. So if you like the the story of how one person can really make it through a hard time in life and really survive out in the wilderness. It's a great book. So the next one is MySpace and this is a book you don't plan on rereading which so for me this is a lot of books I don't plan on rereading. I only reread the books I really love. To me I narrowed this down into like books that I love that I wouldn't reread because that's more of a category for yep. me. So for me, I went with The Chronicles of Narnia. I absolutely adore this series. I do think if I reread them, I'm not going to like them as much. Okay. So I'm kind of terrified yeah. to reread them and I don't, don't do want to reread them because they were so magical, magical to me as a kid and I want to leave them that way. So yep. I'm going to say never ever read 1984. Reread. It's the devil. No. Everyone's rereading right now because of the election, uh -uh. too. No. 1984, just, I just go buy it. I just reread it. <laughs> you're out. Nope, you're out. You're out. She's fired. I'm doing this solo. Solo shot. Let's do this. This is my favorite one, and that's Instagram, a book with a gorgeous picture-worthy cover. And to me, this book is ink. <laughs> the cover is, like, absolutely gorgeous, and... I am so looking forward to reading this book this month. Yeah, my book, I'm going to really reach here because I think the cover is uh, simple yet complicated. And I'm uh -huh. going to go with, boom, Red Rising. For me, this is honestly kind of inspiring a tattoo idea here. So that's kind of why I like it. So. Speaking of tattoos, we did a books and tattoos tag. Yep. We'll go ahead and link that down below for you as well. There. The next category is YouTube. What book? would you want to be made into a movie? I can guess what your answer is going to be. Mine is going to be boom, Red <laughs> Rising. I'm keeping with the theme here. The good thing is, well, I don't know about what the news is anymore because I haven't heard anything, but it was optioned by yep. Universal Pictures to be a movie, and I know they were working on it. I haven't really heard any news, so I'm not sure, but 
I hope your dream comes true, Mike. Yes. In the future, we will be doing a video specifically on Red Rising in the series. Yeah, so, so announcement, we're going to do a whole week of Red Rising videos. We're going to be reviewing all the books, the series, and then we're going to delve a little more into the politics you know, the color, yeah. the um, color casting and a lot of other things yep. look. So stay We're going to do a fan casting and everything. That. So, yeah. And my choice would be, would be Caraval. You know, I did like this book. I had a lot of issues with it. Um, my issues actually revolved around actual Caraval. I thought it wasn't as magical as everyone hyped it to be. So she went to this place and it was just like, a couple of weird buildings to me and like some weird magical things to me but they didn't really elaborate on any of it so I really think a movie would justify that and really show me how wonderful this book actually is so this is the movie adaptation I need to see the last one is Skype a book with characters that you wish you could talk to in real life and not just read about yes. Mike What's your answer? You know, this took a really long time to decide, but I'm going to go ahead and go with Boom, Red Rising, and it's upside down. All right, Boom, I'm going to go with Red Rising by Pierce Brown. What it comes down to is I relate to the main character of this book so much, and some of the people in this book, I can pretty much kind of give per close personalities to close friends of mine. So I, I would really love to be able to talk to these characters and get to know them more than what the book offers. <gasps> Oh. My answer for this would have to be Harry Potter guys. I want to talk to all of them. I think we'd be great friends. And can I tell you that Charlie Weasley is my literary boyfriend. So back off everybody. He's my, I know he's asexual, but he's mine. Sorry, Mike. Bye. Charlie Weasley, you're listening. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. From now, we're gonna go ahead and tag Georgina Reads <gasps> next, so we look forward to watching your video. Yeah, she is so amazing, guys. If yes. you have not checked out her channel, go ahead and do so. Give her a look, we'll go ahead and link her down below. Thanks again for watching, guys. We hope to see you guys soon. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. Right down there. <laughs> Bye. Boom, see ya.